time to watch in Shakespeare Project. Let me tell you what is it about. Okay, guys, come in. Thank God you're here. You cannot stay here. So, <laughs> <laughs> right here, right here. Is there anyone here? Right here. 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 Right so for those of you who've never seen Shakespeare Project, let me just a little bit explain what is it about. So after a semester of studying Shakespeare with me, and discovering what the language is about, the poetry of it, the structure of it, I um, asked the students to read 36 plays and to choose one character, only one, which really speaks to them, speaks to them today about their journey about their philosophy, about their emotion, the emotional life. And um, this is their take, their personal take on this character, on the journey of this character. They cut it for 10 minutes, the text just for 10 minutes, and they worked hard on it, and this is what you're going to see. So today we're going to start with Willie. His project is Mercutio from Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> By the stock and honor of my kin to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. A villain that is hither come in spite to fleer and scorn at our solemnity this night. Mercutio, thou consortest with Romeo. Consort? What? Dost thou make us minstrels? <laughs> if thou make minstrels of us, look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's what <laughs> shall make you dance. Zoons, consort. What? Drawn and talk of peace. <laughs> I hate the word. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. Will you pluck your pilcher by his ears? Make haste, lest mine be about your ears, ere it be out. I am for you. Come, sir, your Passado. <laughs> I have interest in your heart's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawls doth lie a bleeding. <coughs> Bear hence this body and attend our will for mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill. Pardon. 
that kill. stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn by a little team of atomies. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut, and in this state she gallops night by night, sometimes driveth she o'er a soldier's neck, and dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of breaches, ambuscados, healths, five fathoms deep, and then anon drums in his ear, at which he starts and wakes, and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two, and sleeps again. This is that nab that plates the manes of horses in the night, and bakes the elf locks in foul sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is that hag that when maidens lie on their back, presses them and learns them first to bear. This is she! Peace, Mercutio, peace. Hold thy desperate hand. Art thou a man? Thy form cries out thou art. Thy tears are womanish. Thy wild acts denote the unreasonable fury of a beast, unseemly woman in a seeming man, and ill-beseeming beast, in seeming both. I thought thy disposition better tempered. Take heed, take heed, for such die miserable. Peace, Mercutio, peace. Thou talkst of nothing. True. I talk of dreams, which are children of an idle brain. Ha! Romeo will answer it! <laughs> Nay, he will answer the letter's master. How he dares being dared. Unhappy fortune by my brotherhood, this letter was not nice, but full of charge. Call, good Mercutio. Mm -hmm. Good, <laughs> gentle, <laughs> youth. <laughs> Tempt not a desperate man. Put not another sin upon my head by urging me to fury. By heaven, I love thee better than myself, for I come hither armed against myself. You gave us the counterfeit fairly last night. I do defy thy conjurations. Wilt thou provoke me? Then have at thee, boy! Yeah. <laughs> Call, good Mercutio. Nay, I'll conjure too. Romeo! Passions! Madman! Lover! 
appear thou in the likeness of a sigh. <laughs> Speak but one rhyme, and I am satisfied. Ah, here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. Good morrow to you both. <laughs> what counterfeit did I give you? The slip, sir. The slip. Can you not conceive? <laughs> Pardon, good Mercutio. My business was great, and in such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. Thou hast most kindly hid it. I am greatest. Able to do least. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Romeo, the hate I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. I am hurt. Where is my page? Go, villain, fetch me a surgeon. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. No, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door, but twill serve. Ask for me tomorrow and you shall find me a grave man. I am peppered for this world, I warrant you, a plague on your houses. Zooms, a dog, a cat, a mouse, a rat to scratch a man to death, a braggart, a rogue who fights by the book of arithmetic, I was hurt under your arm, why the devil you came between us? A plague on your houses. They have made worms meet of me. I have it, and soundly too, your houses. I have interest in your heart's proceeding. <clears throat> My blood for your rude brawls doth lie a-bleeding. Bear hence this body, and attend our will. Mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill.